Every day I look for signs that my father is still with me, lurking in the spiritual realm of communication, talking to me in hieroglyph and symbolization. My mother told me dimes are a sign of spirits trying to guide the ones they love the most. So every time his name rings through my head, a dime falls out my pocket, almost like clockwork. And still it's so hard to speak in ethereal phone lines, sending texts you never know if they get, calling out names to shooting stars and trying to see your face in constellations, trying to hear your voice in broken conversations. I never thought the next time I'd see my father would be in the wake of his death, or in memories and colognes that smell just like him, or in firecrackers that sound like the bullets that went right through him, ones that are a closer minded that I could be next. That the odds aren't so unlikely, more like 50-50, more like heads and tails on dimes and quarters and pennies. I thought I'd see his face in the crowd of my graduation, not in crowded headlines of murder stories. The last death in a bloodbath of five bodies in one weekend. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it so soon. I didn't expect to have to walk my whole life having to fill his shoes because I always had hoped that he would come back. That we would share a bond that fathers and sons are supposed to have. Connected by blood, but having love by choice. I always hoped he would be proud of the man I'm becoming because of the poetry in my voice. But now I just have to guess that he's smiling down on me like they say angels do. I want to ask him if it was silent after all the bullets rang. I want to know if he thought about me while he sat there waiting to be saved. I want to know if he loved me before he died. It's been so long since I've heard him say it. I've been guessing all this time. The last time I heard him say I love you was in the parking lot of the building that he trapped out of, the parking lot of the building he was going to die in. It's funny how things come full circle and I'm not religious and neither was he, but now I see the appeal because it makes uncertainty so certain this. Angel money is the only thing giving me purpose. I found a dime after I wrote this. My name's Akil Elijah, I am 20 years old, and I am a rapper, a dancer, a poet, an actor, a little bit of everything. I remember my mom called my phone, but I just ignored her. I'm like, okay, I'm at work, like, I'll talk to her when I go home. Like, she called me again, and I ignored it, and then she called my work phone. She was like, daddy's gone. I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, your father passed last night. And I was like, and I was, it was just silent. It's kind of up in the air, but like, we just know, like, he was shot literally in the building, in the house that he was that he was in, or like right outside. And when that's the lifestyle that you live, there's really only two like lanes for it. It's either like jail or death. And of course, losing a parent or losing a loved one is a hurt that doesn't go away, but you can't be hurt your whole life. There is no rush, but at the same time, helping yourself will help yourself eventually in the long run. 